painting this juicy red strawberry, start by masking the highlighted area with masking fluid. Now we're just adding the first layer of paint. Start with some lemon yellow and hooker green for the leaf part. And then with crimson red and ultramarine blue that give it a beautiful purple color. Now I'm going back in and uh, masking all the seeds because I realized I want them to uh, be not affected by the red colors that I am now putting in. So I started this painting with uh, the reddest red. And uh, I am just laying down uh, the area between the highlights and the shadows because that's where we see the most cor uh, correct red color for the strawberry. And for the highlight and shadow, I'm just trying to fill in the indentation of each uh, seed. And what I spend most of my uh, time is to manage uh, the highlight and the shadow area because I realize that um, if I do not have enough highlight and a shadow balancing the strawberry will look very flat so I am adding a more uh, blue to the shadow part especially the indentation and I'm trying to lift the red color of the highlights because I feel like the red has overflown a little bit so Keep on adding blue and keep on uh, adding shadows with the purple blue that's mixed with red and ultramarine. So what I'm doing is to circle the seeds with a little bit darker red than the surrounding area to give it look like it's swollen up and it will indent in kind of 3D effects. More shadows, more blue. So now I am coloring uh the leaves with more details start with uh, using sap green to give texture to the top and then i mix uh in hooker green with a little bit of blue to give it a cool feels uh, in the leaves lastly i use the burnt amber to color in the indented part of the leaves and add more texture. And my favorite part is lifting the masking fluid off the page. Now I had to figure out what do I do with these flashy white parts. And first thing I do is to try to dull the whiteness down with some very gentle uh, red and pink color and trying to soften the edge by adding in the missing seeds. And now I fill in the seeds color with um, sienna. Let it dry and now working on the shadow. The shadow is always a mixture of the leftover paints from what, whatever color that I already is in use from a palette. And now I'm using um, red plus blue that dark purple area to 
creates a 3D effect around the seeds. And continue to add orange on the top of the red to give it a glow look. And now I'm cheating a little bit with a opaque white ink to go back and arrange the highlight white because I do not feel like the 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 masking the masked area was sufficient to give the the glow part of the strawberry is justice and um, this masking ink uh, th this opaque ink is allow me to cheat with white colors and now use burn amber with blue to create that very dark color underneath the strawberry for the shadow and move the fluids around and spread it out and voila beautiful mixture of shadow color and adding some opaque ink on the leaves to give it texture and just arranging the colors around now I made some mess around the strawberry I'm going to add a little bit backgrounds with leftover colors from the palette and splash 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 strawberry is done I hope you like my painting please like and subscribe to my channel have a great day.